Hello, Infiniteers. <laughs> I am back with a new episode of Toy Box Tutorials. I know it's been a little while, but um, I'm uh, taking a break, as I had said. I'm working on another video game that I'm playing, and I am working on a Toy Box project that I hope to unveil in sometime in the next couple of months. But um, I'm here today because someone on the Disney Infinity Discord I'm not going to try to pronounce their name because <laughs> I'll probably slaughter it. But they had asked if it was possible to create a holographic projection of a townsperson. And um, they weren't sure what to do or if it was even possible. And uh, it actually is possible. It's not very intuitive, but you can do it. And so I thought I'd whip up a quick tutorial today to show you how to do that. And for my example, let's use the Star Wars theme and say that we got a little droid over here, kind of like R2-D2, <laughs> though I haven't uh, unlocked R2 yet. But I've got a little droid over here, and he's going to project, I want him to project a uh, hologram of Princess Leia. And uh, you might wonder how I could do that. Well, we're going to need a few toys. So I've got a couple of buttons here that I've placed as well as a friendly wave generator, which I have connected to a locator, all right? And then I have placed a trigger area over top of this little uh, square, and I've sized it down a little bit. And we also have an action enforcer, and we're going to need a logic gate and a time delayer in a bit. The key to doing the holographic projection is the action enforcer. And I covered this in an earlier episode and showed how you could use this to have uh, players, uh, player characters, do things like celebrate and lament and trip and that sort of thing. But what you may not know and what I may not have covered in that episode or made very clear is that the action enforcer can also be used with townspeople. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we have a friendly wave generator connected to that locator, as I said, and I've set up the wave to use the Princess Leia costume, okay? And I'm going to hook this button up to generate the wave. And we'll use this button over here, <laughs> if I can select it. There we go. We'll use that button to remove the wave. Okay, so when I press the button, Princess Leia will appear at that locator. And of course, she's going to look like any normal townsperson would. But we're going to use this trigger area here to activate our action enforcer. So on the trigger area, we'll do a new logic connection when entered by AI friend. We're going to come over to our action enforcer scroll down to where it says hologram and this will work pretty much for any of these uh, by the way you can use ice or muck or milkshake or ghost or any of these but we're going to use hologram and it's very important here that you pick triggering player all right really that should be triggering actor it's not just the triggering player because the triggering player would be the player who pushes the button that kicks this whole thing off. But the triggering actor is going to be Princess Leia. And this is going to um, invoke the hologram on that townsperson. So let's try it out. And there she is. Princess Leia is a hologram. <laughs> and that is pretty cool. You can do that with cast members, you can do that with townspeople. Um, I think you can do that with enemies and critters, but I haven't tried that. One thing you'll notice though, is it only lasts for about five seconds, okay? Maybe six seconds, and then the effect wears off. Just like it does with the player, um, where it wears off after a few seconds, it does that with the townsperson too. So if you wanna have it continuous, We'll need to do a few extra things. So I push that button to take her back out. 
So that's where the logic gate and the time delayer are going to come in. So on the time delayer, we're going to set the properties on this to be five seconds. What we're going to do is on the action enforcer, we'll do a new logic connection. When the action is attempted, we're going to try to input into this logic gate, which initially is going to be open. And then on output from the gate, we will kick off the time delayer to start the delay. And when the time delayer goes off, new logic connection, when delay is completed, we're going to come back over to the action enforcer. We're going to go back down to hologram again. And we're going to select triggering player. Okay. And that's going to loop the hologram effect. Now that looping is going to continue even after we push the button here to turn off <laughs> Princess Leia and get rid of her. So that's why we have the logic gate. So when we take Princess Leia out, we'll go ahead and close the logic gate, logic gate which will break the loop. And when we push this button, we can reopen the gate so that we can continue to loop. Okay, that's really all there is to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. And the hologram effect should be constant now. It should continue indefinitely. And there the time delay went off. Goes off every five seconds. And you'll notice she has not stopped being a hologram. So now it's like R2 is projecting the Princess Leia hologram, and she's just continuing to be a hologram until we turn this off, which will close that logic gate. And you'll notice when the time delayer went off, it invoked the action enforcer, which in turn tried to go through the gate and kick off the time delayer again, but it was not able to. So that's how you can turn a townsperson into a hologram. And as I said, you can do that for any of the behaviors that are in the action enforcer. Some of them will work a little better than others <laughs> because some things townspeople can do and some they can't, but uh, you can play around with that and see what you can do. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If so, please give this video a like and uh, subscribe to my channel for hopefully more tutorials. This series is done. However, if there are questions like this that come up, I may produce a special episode like this from time to time to show you how to do things. That's all for me today. I hope to be back soon, but in the meantime, take care.